Hi guys, welcome back to a little about LV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited because today I walked around my house and showed you all of my Christmas decor for this year. It's a little bit different than last year. I know you all really enjoyed that video, so I was really excited to do that for you again. It's 2020, so as we talked about in some of my other videos, I went a little bit more minimalistic this year, changed some stuff up, but I think you're really gonna like it. It is gonna be a little bit different for you, even if you watched last year's video. Plus, we've done some home improvements since then. So so I'm just kind of taking you around today, letting you see all of my new decor, giving you some ideas for your own Christmas decor, also letting you know where I found some stuff that's new this year. I may link some of that stuff down below if I can still find it because most of it was on sale, of course. Also going to let you know a few of the things that I am looking for in some after Christmas sales. I always go to all the after Christmas sales, by the way, that is the highlight of my year. That is when I get all of my Christmas decor, even some stuff that I'm like, I don't know if I needed that, but it was 25 cents. Anyways, I will be hitting up all of those sales after Christmas. So I'm going to let you in on a few things that I'm going to personally be looking for and maybe I'll vlog some of that stuff on my Instagram. If you've been keeping up with me there, you've seen some of the home improvements and stuff. So I'm so excited to show you all of this in actual video form because of course that is my favorite. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you're looking for some Christmas inspiration, we're going to jump right in. And of course I had to start you guys out here at the front door to show you the matching lighted trees and wreath that I made. I had those last year. Also the rug is from last year, but the Buffalo check mat I got at Hobby Lobby this year on sale for 50% off. So as always, Anne is going to be the guest star of all of the filming. So she's here with me to show you what is our favorite room in the house now, probably. The foyer and stairwell we actually just repainted with white um, paint and trim. So if you want to see the updates on that, you'll have to go to my Instagram. I actually did not film that, but this is how I decorated this area this year. It's probably a lot more minimal than it was last year, I think. I actually redid the tree in only white ornaments with snowflakes this year. So instead of the chair like I normally do in this area, I actually just went with using the white fur tree skirt to look kind of like snow. And then I placed a few different pillows there and used some nutcrackers for decor. I thought it went really well with the flocked tree and how I only did white ornaments this year. All of the ornaments are either from Hobby Lobby or at home. I got them all on sale. So if you're looking to do just a winter wonderland theme, which I actually also did in the living room, I'm about to show you. That is where I got all of those and the little welcome to our winter wonderland sign I got in the Target dollar spot. So while we are here in the foyer, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of the foyer bathroom and how I decorated that. It is a farmhouse Christmas theme. That is mostly from last year, but I did want to show you how I decorated the shelving this year as well. And also all of the wall art that I put in here along with the soap dispenser I got a couple years ago from Bath & Body Works. And as I pan around, you will also see the hand towel that I normally use in this bathroom as well. Moving on into the kitchen and dining room area. Again, I wanted to keep it a lot more simple than I normally do, um, just because 2020 has been a lot. I did put up my grandmother's ceramic Christmas tree. And of course I have my countdown nutcracker here. The kitchen table looks a lot different this year. Usually I have plates out and napkins and all kinds of things. But this year I just went with some simple placemats that I got in Gatlinburg a few years ago and a charger that I put a cute little saucer and coffee cup there that has the cookies for Santa and milk for Santa on it. I thought that was just really cute and also simple. It's not a lot to take up the middle of the table. So my husband appreciates that as well. Here 
here in the dining room, this might not be minimal for a lot of people, but maybe go back and watch some of my other videos and you'll see how much I normally do to the tables. So this year I actually got new tan placemats and new tan seat cushions. So I just wanted to keep it really light and bright. I used the other two placemats here that I didn't use on the kitchen table um, as a runner here in the middle. And then I got my grandmother's bowl there that you probably recognize if you keep up with a lot of my decor videos. And I just put some of the fake snow and some flocked pine cones in there to create kind of a tablescape is what I was going for here only in the middle. Again, no plates because I wanted to keep it not as crazy as I normally do. These cute little trees in the tin containers. I got all three of these for $10 in a pack at Target. So I thought that was a great deal. I have all my gingerbread nutcrackers and just a few others here on display for you. And so even though this is really minimal for me, I really like the way that it turned out. And finally, here is the finished living room and the new Christmas tree for this year. Um, I might actually come back tonight and give you a little bit of a look at it when all of the lights are on um, and it's dark outside with the lights off. Just kind of want you to see how beautiful it is when everything is lit up, but I am going to give you an overview now. Here I just wanted to show you how I very simply added some touches to make it feel a little bit more Christmassy. Just a couple pillows, some blankets. Thanks for that one, Anna B. And also, I found this cute little Merry Christmas sign at Hobby Lobby this year for only $5. So I added some burlap. And I also added this cute candle holder in the corner. And here is a look at the entertainment center under the TV this year. It might look a little bit similar to last year. I did still run the ribbon and twine around the flameless candles that I usually have out all year long, but I did minimize it a little bit, only use a couple books and a few little pictures and all of my nutcrackers, of course. One thing I did do on the mantle that is a little bit different um, from previous years, I've never actually hung my stockings on the mantle, but I bought some stocking holders this year, and I really like how these turned out without having to have an extra space for the stocking holder that I normally use. Um, I actually just ran some garland up here this year, strung some lights from Hobby Lobby around it, put some extra ornaments and some poinsettias in it. I have that cute little sign that I got for like 25 cents, I think last year um, at Hobby Lobby's after Christmas sale. Um, and then just used my nutcrackers for more decor. And finally, here is how the big Christmas tree turned out. I usually do a different Christmas tree almost every year, to be honest. And then I kind of rotate um, all the different ones throughout the years. This year, again, I wanted to go with like a winter wonderland theme. I would like to have more flocking and more sprigs throughout the tree. But again, I was going kind of minimal this year, so I just bought all white ornaments and a bunch of different glittery snowflakes. Again, all of these are from at home and Hobby Lobby as well. I am gonna be checking out some after Christmas sales to get some more like sprigs to put in the tree for next year if I decide to do the all white tree again. I used this tree skirt that you probably recognize from last year that I use with a lot of different decor. It's just the ivory cable knit with the brown fur that matches the living room colors. A couple details for the tree if you are looking to do a full white winter wonderland type tree. I put a lot of sprigs in the tree that were flocked because my Christmas tree is actually not. So I added that in and I put pine cones that had flocking on them. The ornaments that I chose actually look like they have 
snow. All of them look kind of textured. So that did a lot um, for the overall look of the tree. Even the large snowflakes that I got have a texture to them. So everything kind of looks frosted. That was one thing that I was going for. Another ornament that I chose, this one is from Hobby Lobby. It has like a little winter scene on it. And then as you can see there, it actually looks like there is snow in the ornament. So I'm just loving how this turned out. Those are just a few tips for me if you are looking to get this look out of your Christmas tree this year or next. Again, hit up all of the sales after Christmas because that is going to be the best time to get an all new theme if you are looking to get a deal and totally change up your decor. Alright guys, so I'm just going to briefly walk you through my beach themed bedroom Christmas decor. Again, this is going to be very minimal. I only did the Christmas tree and my beach themed nutcrackers on the dresser. That is all that I did for this year, but I am going to take you through the Christmas tree decor just a little bit in case you did not see last year's video. And I did get rid of some pillows, like the snowflake pillows that I had last year, but I'm going to be looking for some more like beach themed Christmas pillows after Christmas. For the tree, I kept it pretty minimal. I did a cute little sign behind it that I found it at home. And I used some sprigs at the top to kind of create like a coral wreath look with the starfish. I blended it all in with a little bit of netting that I found at Michael's. All of the ornaments are beach themed that I found at at home or Hobby Lobby. Some of them I did make out of just plain plastic ornaments that I put some um, seashells in. The tree skirt here, I believe that I got at At Home a few years ago. Um, it has the little seahorse and the starfish on it. That has always been so perfect for this room because it just matches all of the colors and the theme. So if you were looking for something like that, I believe that one was from At Home, but I know that Hobby Lobby has some cute ones as well. And lastly, I just wanted to show you guys these little wireless remote controllers that um, I got at Walmart. I don't even remember how much these were, but they weren't very expensive. And there's three in a box, as you can see there. All you do is plug them in and then plug in whatever you are wanting the controller to turn on and off. This is what it looks like. I have the Christmas tree down here plugged up to one of these and then the Christmas tree upstairs that I'm gonna show you. And this has been the most convenient thing this year. I'm super excited that I got these. So just as a little tip, maybe pick these up from Walmart, especially if you have a ton of Christmas trees like I do. And here we are going to take a quick look at the loft filming area that I have decorated in gold and red. So the tree here is just filled with gold ornaments and poinsettias that I cut out of a flower arrangement. The tree skirt is actually from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale a couple years ago. And for the rest of the room, I just put up a couple pillows and a few things on the bookshelf over there just to make every room feel a little bit more like Christmas. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know by now that I like to theme all of my bedrooms. So this one we actually just redid. I'm still in the process of painting and we're actually gonna paint the walls white, possibly paint the furniture as well. 
So this room isn't really complete, but I did do decor that would match the theme of the room, which is obviously very feminine, lots of blush pinks and gold. So I'll take you through that really quickly. Here on the dresser, I just added a nutcracker that matched. I also added a little glittery blush colored Christmas tree that was actually an ornament that I got in a pack of three from Hobby Lobby and I just cut the top off of it. You'll see a couple more of those throughout the room. This room, I stayed really simple. I just put a couple things that matched the room, like the little sign there and a couple nutcrackers and that is it other than the pillow that you're gonna see on the bed. And last but not least, the other extra bedroom upstairs is decorated in a white, black, and gold Christmas theme. Again, I just put a few little details on the dressers and the pillow on the bed that just coordinated all of the glittery Marilyn Monroe decor so that it would look a little bit Christmassy in here and also fit the theme. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming along on this little tour with me for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed all the decor. If you have any questions for me, just leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching A Little About LV.